I'm sure most of you people must have watched the Games of Thrones. Now, why am I asking you this? The reason being that one of the characters in the Games of Thrones, if you will remember, you will be able to relate with the topic easily. So, the white color wolf that you are able to see in the Game of Thrones series is you will be able to relate to the character and that character is what is the topic of discussion today. The dare wolf. Now, imagine a scenario that a species once existed, then it got extinct and now again it has returned. And this is what has happened with the dare wolf. Hello and welcome to the in-depth series section of Drishti IAS. I am Aisha and in today's episode we will be talking about the dire wolf, a species which was which went extinct around 13,000 years before but now has returned back. And one of the companies in the US that is the biofine companies by the name of Colossal, they have performed few of the genetic engineering experiments and they have come out successfully in it and they have been and they have been able to generate three puppies out of it so the the extinct dire wolf has returned back after 13000 years of extinction so what we will be looking in this video would be first of all about the dire wolf the experiment that has been done and then about the indian scenario of the indian grey wolf and why the process of genetic engineering becomes important in having experiments like these because these kind of experiments tells us that because of genetic engineering or by the process of genome sequencing or by the process of genetic engineering one is now able because of the technology advancement and because of the science and technology advancement one is able to retrieve the species which went extinct. So, first of all, let us look at few of the news which talks about this. No longer extinct, their wolves fall again after around 12,000 years. The extinction has an American company brought the dire wolf back from the dead. Then one more news talks about once extinct dire wolves are alive again, what does it mean? So, one point that you are very able or very clearly able to see is that the dire wolf which went extinct around 10,000 years to 13,000 years back is now again back on the earth. So, first of all, before moving forward, let me just tell you that the Drishti IAS Mukherjee Nagar classes has now shifted to Noida and the admissions are open for the IASGS online foundation course and also the offline foundation course. So, for the offline foundation course in Noida Center, the admissions are open for both English medium as well as Hindi medium. For any query, give us a call at 87501, 87501. And there is one more feature which has been added for the IASGS online foundation course students in the Drishti Learning app. And that is the feature of the artificial intelligence to make your study more smarter, equipped with AI. So, there are three features which is AI quiz, AI summary and ask me anything. Inside the AI quiz, you will be able to get any question related to the topic. AI summary, you will be able to get the summary of the lecture which you are seeing. And then ask me anything. You can ask anything with regards to the topic that has been studied. So, in, so enjoy this feature of artificial intelligence and make your study smarter and faster. Now, getting back to the news. Now, look at this picture. This picture is of the dare wolf and these pictures of the dare wolf are surfacing on the social media very quickly as of now because the news of returning back of the dare wolf is everywhere and that has made the scientists and also the environmentalists all over the world happy and excited with regard to the process that has been followed by the United States company Colossal. So, a US based bioscience company has done the revival of extinct species of animal and the name of the species is the dire wolf made famous by the Game of Thrones TV series. So the company which has made this possible is the Colossal Biosciences and this has happened not many times in the history. It has been rare events when the 
when a species went extinct and then again the species was brought back to life so these are rare events which has happened and one of these event is the der wolf revival so the company colossal has announced the birth of woolly mice in an effort to bring back the woolly mammoth and the birth of woolly mice this took place few months back only so the company colossal bioscience is performing really well with regards to the revival of few of the species and first about the woolly mice and now with regard to the dire wolves then about the dire wolf now look at this picture this is the picture of the dire wolf how they used to look like and these are the picture of our uh, of the puppies which has been which has been which has which has come to life because of the process or because of the technology called genetic engineering now about the dire wolf the dire wolf also known as enophion dirus they are large canines now canines are the dog family so the the species which belongs to dogs and wolves are also of the same family then they dominated the southern canada and us about 13000 years ago and they resembled the gray or the gray wolves of today and they are and the bear wolves were larger with white coats so the present in in today's time what we see the gear the gray wolf the the dire wolf used to look like the gray gray wolf and they were around 99.5% similar and that is why the gray wolf has played such an important part in the regeneration of the puppies of dire wolf so the dire wolf was around 3.5 feet long in length they were more than 6 feet and in weight they were around 68 to 70 kg then the dire wolf hunted horses bison and possibly mammoths as they were the apex predators the topmost predators who were sitting at the topmost position in the food chain so the apex predators then in recent years we have seen the dire wolf species in the game of the throne series and also a song of ice and fire series now about the de extinction process so the species which became extinct and now again back to life so what was this de extinction process which was followed so basically it was that the scientists at the colossal they contacted the museums and laboratories and they when they contacted them they asked for the dire wolf specimens so when they asked for the dire wolf specimens they got access to a tooth and thought to be around 13000 years old and a skull which was around 70 to 72000 years old so a tooth and a skull the scientist of the colossal bioscience received then two specimens which were used to recover enough dna to create two dire wolf genomes so from the skull so from the skull the dna was extracted and this dna was used to create two dire wolf genomes now genome is a sequence of the dna so two dire wolf genomes was was created and which is an organism's complete set of genetic information so genomes is the sequence of dna and dna is the dna carries the genetic material and gray wolf closest living relative of the dire wolf and now when the genomes were created so the the puppies which has been which has been regenerated or which has come to which has been revived so they were they came to life through the process of surrogacy and for the process of surrogacy a gray wolf a gray wolf was chosen and the reason being that the gray wolf and the dire wolf they are very very close and similar they are around 99.5% similar so the puppies the dare wolf puppies bo was born because of the process of surrogacy and the surrogacy part was performed on the gray wolf now scientists used the process of gene editing to make around 20 unique edits to 14 genes in the gray wolf genome 
Now what happens in the gene editing is that a gene is taken and that gene has been performed different functions. It can be the addition, subtraction, deletion of the gene and then adding on to it the place at which the subtraction or the addition has been performed, adding some another thing on that place. Now look at this diagram. Now imagine this is a genome and then one of the part of the genome is removed and on that, on the part which became hollow, a new attachment has been made. Now this is because of the process of genetic engineering and the genetic engineering process is followed in the revival of the dire wolf. Then fertilized dire wolf eggs were implemented into the surrogate dog mothers and these surrogate dog mothers were of grey wolf. Now about the dire wolf, so the puppies which has come to life are they you can say that they are exactly dire wolf. Now there is a point of question mark that you can say because they are not 100% like dire wolf. They are around 99.5% like dire wolf and 0.5% is a huge difference when we talk about genome or when we talk, talk about DNA because 0.5% can bring a lot of difference into the puppies as compared to the dire wolf. So they are not exactly dire wolf. But they have been, they have come to life from the DNA of a dire wolf. So puppies are not 100% the same as the now extinct dire wolf. And grey wolves and dire wolves are around 99.5%. And their DNA is also 99.5% same. Even though they are very distinct from each other. And grey wolf genome is around 2.4 billion base pairs. So they are not exactly you can say that they are dire wolf. But they are very, very close to it. Now about the Indian grey wolf. And this is also a point from where the question can be asked. So the Indian grey wolf are a, are a subspecies of the grey wolf which are found across Southwest Asia and the Indian subcontinent. And we, when we talk about the Indian subcontinent, then the Indian grey wolf, they like to remain in the warmer areas like for example Gujarat, Uttar Pradesh. So this area the majority of the Indian grey wolf is found. Then they are primarily nocturnal hunting from dusk to dawn. Nocturnal means they are active or they are able to see at the night. Then they are also apex predators. They thrive in warmer temperatures and as of now India has two wolf centuries and that is the Bakapur wolf century in Karnataka and then Mahuadan wolf century in Jharkhand. And if we talk about the conservation status of the Indian grey Wolf, then the IUCN status is endangered sites. It comes under APEC. Appendix 1 and Wildlife Protection Act 1972, it comes under Schedule 1. So it has been given highest protection under the Wildlife Protection Act. Now, the point is you need to remember the, about the dire wolf, about the Indian grey wolf, IUCN status or the conservation status of the Indian grey wolf and the process or the technology which has been used that is genetic engineering for the revival of the dire wolf and now in the end the prelims mcq and like always you people need to tell me the answer in the comment section so the question is the iucn status of indian gray wolf is endangered critically endangered vulnerable or extinct so give me the answer in the comment section and that's all for today thank you so much for watching till we meet next time keep reading keep writing and keep subscribing to the channel thank you Thank you. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.